61A, lecture number four. Announcements. Homework one is due today at 11.59 p.m. Turn it in. Quiz one will be released today, and it's due on Friday. But really, do it on Thursday so that you don't have to worry about it on Friday. It has a similar format to the homework, but it's graded on correctness. And in this quiz, you can use your computer however you want, including looking at any of the course material. But please solve the problems on your own. Don't talk to your classmates. You cannot use a partner in this assignment. And please don't search the web for answers or ask for answers on the web. The point of the quiz is just to help you check your understanding so far. It's not a big deal if you don't do well, but it is an indication that you should change something about how you're approaching the course, maybe by devoting more time to it or considering an alternative course like I told you on the first day. Project 1 has been released. It's called HOG. There it is. It has 10 questions. It's about rolling dice. I'll tell you more about it later. This semester, we've also released an extreme version that exists only for students who have prior programming experience and don't want much guidance. So the structure of normal Project 1 is that the program is laid out for you, but you have to fill in the logic. In the extreme version, there are very few questions, but each question requires you to develop a large piece of the program on your own. If that sounds interesting, try it out. You can always fall back to the regular version instead if you're not quite sure how to proceed. I would only recommend the extreme version for people who have substantial prior experience in programming. You don't get any extra credit for solving it. It's just there if you want an extra challenge. This project in either version is due Thursday, but you get an extra credit early submission bonus point for turning it in on next Wednesday. And the project really does take about a week to do, so you might as well get started now. Midterm 1 is coming up, two weeks from today. In the evening, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. If you have a conflict, we'll give you a chance to announce that by distributing a, contact, a conflict form. Now, many of you students have plenty to do already in this course. I mean, look, there are tons of assignments released all at the same time. However, some people are always looking for more content or more advanced content. Well, we have that for you as well. One option is to take the Practical Programming decal, which starts this Friday at 5 p.m. It's taught by members of the course staff. And the idea of this course, which meets weekly, is that you learn to use the ideas from 61A in building more substantial applications. There's all kinds of interesting content there about how to use modern software libraries and frameworks in order to build interesting stuff. Another option is to start attending the weekly additional topics in the Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programs. That's the name of 61A. This course meets weekly, can be taken for one unit pass-fail, and starts next Monday from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. in A1 Hearst Annex. This course is taught by me and other members of the course staff. And the idea is that we cover topics that extend the 61A material in interesting ways and really could be part of the course, except for that there are only so many weeks in the course. So I've taken topics that either used to be in the course or really should be in the course, interesting examples, and put them into a lecture series that's completely optional and really designed for people who have a strong understanding of the core material and are looking for more advanced ideas to extend the way they think about programming. Anyone's invited to either of these two. Feel free to take a look at them if you're looking for more material or more advanced material in this course.